Hello guys, we're back. I don't know what's wrong with this and why it's shutting down, but whatever the reason is, we're not gonna give in. How about that? Hello, good evening. Uh, the internet is good in the house. So what I have done is I have changed the device. So if you're back, welcome. Hello, William, good evening. Thank you for joining us back. Pastor Pierre is here. We are ready to go. Hello, Fisayo. Please, guys, share, share, share. We've lost time due to this just shutting down, and it's not the fault of the internet this time. I think it might be the device. I have changed the device, so we'll see what happens. Hi, David. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Hello, Mary Viola. I hope I pronounced your name properly. I'm sorry if I haven't, but good evening. Thank you for joining again. Hosa Oge good evening how are you thank you for joining please guys share 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 without further ado thank you all i appreciate you joining again even after two attempts that have already failed but we're back okay so hello dr Ladi. good evening hello benga good evening thank you for joining idehi good evening thank you for joining again tracy how are you thank you for joining please share share james share this as well um in my joyce good evening thank you for joining uh david good evening again thank you um please how can i call in on facebook david you can call when you are required to call in this case no because we are interviewing uh pastor pierre emmanuel jane and for that reason you're not required to call but if you want to call next time when you're asked to call in, then you can do so through Move Agent Madik. That's Move Agent Madik. Hey, yeah, good evening. Thank you for joining. Hi, Leo. Welcome back. Eric. Hello, Pastor Eric. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Lolan, good evening. Olainka, good evening. Thank you for joining back. Smart Rufaro, good evening. Thank you for joining. David, thank you. Thank you all. I appreciate you, Lord. Oche, Oche, good evening. EA, good evening. So, guys, I'm sorry about the line. Um, the, I think it's the device breaking off and I have to come back. But I promise you, this is going to be worth it that we came back over and over and over again. I have got here Pastor Pierre Emmanuel Jane. So I'm going to ask him to introduce himself because the first one cut out. I don't know how far you heard. So we're just going to start all over again. Okay. So thank you again. Please share, share, share this as we continue. Hello, Ruthie. Oluwashula. Good evening. Gift. Good evening. So I'm going to turn my camera now and I'm going to ask uh, Pastor Pierre to please introduce himself again to us. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thank you to be there. So I'm Pastor Pierre. I'm from France. And uh, thank you, Mayowa, to receiving me here in your podcast. So I'm here in Ukraine for the HNT uh, training, which was a few days ago. And uh, it was my second time here in Ukraine. So I live in France. I'm the founder and pastor of two churches in the center of France. I'm also a disciple maker. I'm also an author. I'm also a singer, a musician. And uh, we have produced uh, two CDs uh, already. One is on uh, iTunes at the name of Maison du Gospel, which means Gospel's House. And uh, I've been there those years growing those, those churches. I, am, I have invested a lot of myself in it. And uh, as I want to shift my work in uh, other countries, other dimensions, I'm here this year and I've learned a lot about uh, uh, with Dr. Sunday's teachings. That's why I was here this time in HMT to build myself as a personality as we have just seen those past days. So thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Pierre. Guys, thank you very much for coming back. Please share this so that other people can join us. So you've heard that Pastor Pierre is from France, you know, and he's so many things. He said he's a pastor, he's a disciple, leadership um, leadership person, trainer, that, change, that leads people to become disciples and also to lead. You know, so he's a trainer, he's an author, he's a musician, he's many things. We are going to discuss all of these things because it's very interesting that one person is all of these things. And I love to hear that because 
you know, for me, I always thought, or would, I've been told as a child that you can't be all of these things. You can be jack of all trades and master of none, uh, which I know better now because Dr. Sunday is a prime example of all that we can be um, because God has put everything in us. So guys, invite as many people as possible, especially teenagers who are in the mindset that you just have to do one thing. Of course, it's, it's good to focus, but it's also good to be multi-talented and also express all the gifts and abilities that God have given you. So uh, we have here Pastor Pierre Emmanuel Jean, and he's a prime example of that. So I'm really interested to hear First of all, he's now a personality. You can see from the title that I showed, uh, I, I titled this program, which is uh, uh, past HMT, which is History Makers Training, uh, uh, Delegate and Personality, and then his name, uh, Pierre Emmanuel Jane. And I have reasons for saying that. So first of all, guys, share, share, share again. And I'm going to turn the camera again. I just want um, Pastor Pierre to tell us a little bit about this particular um, HMT that he's attended. Um, it's really important that he starts with this because, guys, Dr. Pastor Pierre has done, um, uh, was it Kingdom Fruits, yes, he did Kingdom Fruits some time ago. So if you really want to know a lot more about him, you can go onto YouTube, Sunday Adelaide Official is on there, and his Kingdom Fruits um, details, biography, everything is on there. It's in the video format as well, and he told us a lot about himself. So today, I just want us to focus on HMT, what um, each day has been for him. So just from the beginning, I want to ask, this is my question to him. The question is, before... Um, Pastor Pierre, before you arrived here, what are you? What were you expecting to gain? What was what was your uh, expectation? Then my next question after that is, what were your objectives? So you have expectation that this is what I would find, and then the next one is that what do you want out of this? So I'm just going to turn the camera. Thank you. Yes. I uh, just wanted to add to my presentation that I'm also a father of five children uh, and also a happy husband, uh, father of five children and grandfather of two wow. granddaughters. That young, you're but, that young. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so now to answer your, your question, uh, before coming for HMT, uh, my expectation was to learn more about the concept of uh, social, social church. When I came here in uh, May, last month of May, I've heard about it. I discussed about uh, about that with uh, Igor, other people there. I watched also the video online after about the rehabilitation center, and I wanted to to get more of that that concept, which has been uh, pra practiced here by the church, to to be that kind of church who who is very involved in society, in solving the problem of society. So I wanted to, to learn more about this, uh, this whole concept and how to implement it maybe in, a, in our church because that, that's something we, we, we don't do. So that was my, my main expectation, uh, I could say. Yeah. Wow, okay. Oh, that's interesting. So you heard that there, right there. Uh, Pastor Pierre wanted to know about social church because he was here back in May and he joined us for Dr. Sunday's Golden Jubilee, but not for HMT. So he learned a little bit about social church, which is one of the things that Dr. Sunday is well known for, for developing a social church. So church for us is not just within the four walls of a premises. It's about society, it's about, it's about a human being in the society and that's the ethos of uh, church for Dr. Sunday. That's the main principle of church is that it's about individuals, it's about their relationship with God and it's about them achieving what they're supposed to achieve here on earth to be the person that God proposed them to be. So uh, Pastor Pierre's expectation coming here is that, you know, I will learn a little bit more about social church when I, during this HMT. He did, I'm sure that you didn't know what the title was because it's not usually announced if it was going to be personality or what it's going to be. Uh, but um, saying what you expected or what you, I, what you aim to achieve, what are your obje objectives? What, um, 
what were, what were your objectives to, um, actually, that's what you just said. Your objective is to learn about social church. Mm -hmm. And is that also your expectation that you will learn about social church before you go on to what you actually learned? Yes, before coming to HMT. Yes, yes. Yes, that was my, my own expectation from uh, the HMT training. Okay. Because I had discussed uh, this with uh, people, uh, with Igor, for example. He was talking about that. He told me even, well, we, we can make an HMT in your church and to, you have to develop this concept of social, social church. Etc. So I wanted to learn about that. Uh, I thought I didn't know uh, the the theme of HMT was were already changing each time. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe it's uh, maybe it changes, but the, the main topic remained the same. So I I thought uh, that this this training was about that about gain, gaining the mentality and the, the tools for the, the social church and uh, things like that. You know, I, I, as I'm, um, since I'm uh, interested in ministry, I know the way we are doing church is not, the, is not good. So I always be seeking for new way to reform, reform, reform. And that's what I have doing uh, many years. So I've, I've shifted from the, the first uh, background the church background I had, and I've tried several models, and uh, I'm always seeking what is missing and what more to do. So when I was there in May, and uh, I was thinking, oh yes, something they have here, maybe this part, we miss this part. So I want to learn more, I want to learn more, because I, as a pastor, I want my, my church to improve, I want my, my way of doing things to, to improve, and to be God's like, God's way. Yeah. Well guys, I hope you're taking notes because some of the things I'm learning from Pastor Pierre here now is um, wanting to improve, you know, um, always seeking new ways, seeking new ways to develop, to help other people, uh, to develop themselves, um, always having the urge that we could do things better. So he's somebody that I know definitely is wi widely read because he's also told us as he's an author. Most authors also read other authors' books. And for this HMT in particular, even though he didn't know the topic um, of the HMT, he's still about the desire to learn more to know more because he knows that there's more out there. And he also mentioned that during the, his last visit, he knows that there's something that is happening here that he could be adopt to his ministry, to what he does to make things better. And one of those things is about the social church. But coming now, you know, um, coming to this HMT, uh, first of all, I just want to say it outright. Um, do you have, just simply, um, do you have any, are you disappointed? or otherwise let us know you know you can just share with people and say why right, because they know what your expectations were right and this is what you got so first of all tell us what you got in terms of what the title was and how did you feel thinking okay this is about something else like day one how were you feeling and if you were disappointed i would like to know i think others would like to know okay thank you um no i wasn't the disappointed at all even on the first day First of all, because I didn't know the topic will be only this topic. So when it begins on theme of personality, say, okay, it's, maybe it's today we're gonna explore this topic. So I wasn't, uh, I wasn't, I wasn't disappointed because uh, we have few days and those days are very intense. Don't care. Even in one day, maybe we are going to cover this topic and uh, tomorrow we're gonna. And first of all, we had the. The first day, I think, the visit of the rehabilitation, re, the center, rehabilitation center. So it was uh, the, the fruits of the social church. So I was in, I was learning uh, directly. So it was the topic. So I was not uh, badly surprised. And uh, even when the, the theme begin, began, uh, it was uh, so original and so amazing that I, I was captured by the... the the topic, how to become a personality and the, the biblical background and the, the point of view as, as a, a pastor Sunday, you know, he, he's a master chief when he presents something, 
uh, everything he, he presents, you learn something about. So uh, I, I was not, I wasn't even not thinking, oh, I want to learn about the social church. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Why is he addressing this topic? No, I was not thinking, I was only receiving. And I thought maybe we, we are going to address uh, particularly the topic of social church. Okay. Well, first day, eh? Yes. Okay, guys, I thought that was an interesting question to ask you because you'll be wondering out there that, well, you came to learn about social church and then the, um, the title or the theme that was given to you was totally different. So I thought you might be thinking about that. And I'm so glad that Pastor Pierre shared with you that the first day he actually experienced the social church practically by going into one of the rehabilitation centers. So um, it's, it's about social church because rehabilitation, supporting people that are dejected from society, um, various type of um, schemes are available here with uh, Dr. Sundays and his network to help people and that's part of social church. So uh, Pastor Pierre, before we move on to the personality topic and what you experienced from day two, because you were out ultra day one. Um, please tell us about the social church that you experienced, what happened there, where did you go, and what did you learn? Because that's actually part of your objective initially, before you got this theme. Um, I think it would be nice to know uh, what your experience of, of day one was. Okay. So we were to a rehabilitation center, and this one is for women and children. And... Uh, if I have good and understand it, uh, the goal is to prevent those mothers to be separated from their children because it's uh, some mother who has addiction problems. And uh, in these cases, it's possible that the government don't allow them to keep their children anymore with them. So the, 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 the main goal of the people there is to to help those women to, to be free from addictions and also to help them to be able to to keep their children to prevent them from the pain to be separated from the children etc and uh, what i learned the most is that uh, one of the person who, who was in charge of this uh, one of the i think she's a pastor or leader and uh, went through all of that and she, she 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 was a drug addict she has been separated from her three children so she went to a rehabilitation center and uh, she, she gained freedom. And then when she wanted to, re to get back his children, it uh, has been a lot of fight for her with the government to prove, to justify herself that now she can take uh, care of the children. But finally, she, she was able to, to get back her children. But then another struggle came because the children, during the time they were separated, were rejected now uh, their mother. So she, she had to fight the, those things, to, to, to regain the trust in their children and everything. And not only that, and she grew herself and she, she became a personality. She became already someone that wanted to help. And now she involved in helping other people. She has uh, passed uh, with success, uh, I think, a uh, master or something. She's a psychologist. Mm -hmm. uh, she told us that now her tr three children, uh, maybe two of them are grown and they are really becoming great. And... Uh, so what amazed me the most is because I know the challenges I have helped people myself. I've been through a little way like similar like this, mm -hmm. but I, I helped also people who were in addiction, everything. I know the struggles it is only to help them to be free and to be Christian. But what amazed me the most is that this woman and not only her, but the, all, all the staff there were people and maybe in five or 10 years were strongly addicted person, some of them for 10 or 15 years, and they went from minus zero to a, a, a high level of, uh, of involvement for other, uh, an involvement that, which is very rare, e even for good Christian who have not all the, to overcome all those kind of struggles. That's what, amazed me the most that was the uh, I learned the most yes about this visit wow, wow. 
Well, guys, ah, uh, that's amazing. Even just to sit here and hear this, I know this. I've actually, I, I've also experienced visiting the rehabilitation centers. I went to a different one. It's not a mother and uh, children one, but I really love this account and the experience of Pastor Pierre and uh, what's happened with this um, mothers and his understanding, especially um, what really struck. Pastor Pierre is the same thing that probably would actually ignite something in all of us that a lot of these people that are actually running this um, rehabilitation centers now are also people that have been through the same thing in the past, you know. So um, it's, it's really amazing that how can they have struggled through addiction for so many years, lost their children, been in all sorts of situations and actually gone through rehabilitation themselves and then having the heart to, to now start running rehabilitation, being the people that are now running for other people in the past. And I think we all need to take a leaf out of this um, lessons. And, you know, um, Pastor Pierre said something in, after, um, towards the end of this last um, segment. He said that um, this... He knows that for the best of people who have never had the struggle of addiction to actually do what they're doing now, the people that have had their addictions and now supporting other people that are addicted is difficult. And that's totally true because a lot of us, I've never been through addiction before and I haven't set up and managed any rehabilitation center. You know, so that's no excuse. So my own um, mindset now is that, okay, it's true because I haven't been through this. I, you know, why is it that I am not the one that is supporting people? Why is it that it's those people that have been through it before? So just um, let us all think about the th different things that we can do in society to be a solution in society, especially those of us that haven't been through those challenges and now also understanding that even those challenges are no longer excuses. So if you've been through something in the past or you're going through something now, be ready to be a solution on that same thing or even something similar to be a solution to other people because this is a proven, this is existing and it's proven and we can all do this. Um, I'm really interested in hearing more about this. Uh, so Pastor Pierre, um, so following the things that you've heard, you've seen about the rehabilitation center, before, before we move on to the actual topic today, what are you going to do? Because you've seen something, you've seen a model, you've seen how it works, um, you've seen what people are doing. What are you going to do? Um, given that that was your objective, which was met in the first day, and also what you learned, what you saw, even the analysis that you made, that it amazes you that these people are the ones that are now helping other people. What are you going to do? What are you going to take home? What are you going to do differently? Because you mentioned also that you've actually experienced this in a bit, you know, so what have you learned that you're going to take tangible on this subject of um, social, ch social church? Well, uh... First, I was uh, amazed at the results, and it is not an exception because uh, most of the people, they are the leader, are the same. They have the same uh, journey. So I know by experience, because I, I've helped some uh, addict people of a one or one level, mm -hmm. I've invested so much time. And uh, they are not to the level of uh, that person. So for me, when I, I go back, I, I didn't have plan to 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 do something. My plan was I have to discover more the secrets behind, because uh, I know I I cannot say oh, okay it's a good model I want to copy I want to work I know how it is to work and I know if I work with what I got with the knowledge I have now I cannot reach the same level the same results so I was uh, more excited to know about the secrets uh, which are behind those results. Hmm. Yes. Okay, um, you know what my next question will be? Tell us the secret that you learned. Yes. Yes, yes. that's my next question. Yes. That's why instead of being disappoint, disappointed or something uh, of the topic, I think uh, at the contrary, the, the topic of uh, and the theme of uh, HMT was really the, the core, the core value of all of this. And I'm glad because I could have, uh, 
have a, an HMT of the what is the model of social church, what is the structure, the system, and uh, not everything, and try to build something, build a system, but without the core value of it, it will be in vain. So I know the, the, the topic of the HMT was uh, addressing the, the, the DNA of uh, everything. And that's, uh, that's the main thing for me before building the house, you, you have to, to have the hearts, you, you know, you have to have the, the DNA of it, you, you have, I, I cannot give birth to something that is not in me. I cannot only copy the, uh, the outward things. I have to, to have the core value. I have to have the living heart of it inside of me. And uh, that's why I've, I'm glad because I have not yet the, the structure of doing things, but I received the DNA, which is the source of uh, the, the, the everything they are, they are built, even rehab center or other things, may, many things. So it's um, very more. We, we, what we have get in HMT is more than just a, a model of a, a work, a type of work. We, we receive the, the, the DNA, which is the base uh, upon we, we can build now. Of course, I want to learn about system, about structure before doing or getting to work too, too quick. But before that, I needed what I have got now. Wow. Oh, God. Guys, can you believe this? You know, the, uh, Pastor Pierre, I wanted to say Dr. Pierre, but Pastor Pierre was the one that coined the phrase DSA in my DNA. I don't know if you saw it last week. He said it and, you know, I put it up straight away. It's in one of our pages and also in Pastor Pierre's page, DSA in my DNA. So he's the originator of that. And now I know why. Because during the time he was saying it during the HMT, I didn't get to have the conversation with him to say, why have you said that? And, you know, what is your, what's to get an understanding of that? I just thought it was amazing. You know, it, it rhymes very well. DSA in my DNA, but I know why now. So what Pastor Pierre is saying, if I understand correctly, is that even the social church that you wanted to build, that you wanted to understand, you didn't even know that what you needed was that core DNA which was the personality in order to be successful in this. That the secret to a successful um, social church is your, is you, yes. is what you have in you, your core. And you found that in the theme of this, without even, without even writing that or knowing that is an objective, but you realize during the training that that's exactly what you needed. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes, definitely. That's amazing. I think I want to hear a little bit more about that. Yes. I want to hear. I want to hear you now. You've got your core. You you identified that this is the core that you need. Very quickly, I think you did that. Yeah. You know, without even knowing that this is what you needed. Yeah. This was the secret. Was that core? So tell us about that core. Yes, thank you. Yes, I think it it was like uh, of God because. Uh, even in my prayer, I say, oh, Lord, please uh, <laughs> do that. This HMT is about social church. <laughs> no, it was not my prayer. But even if I prayed like this, uh, God knows better. And he, he brought us, and me particularly, but I know for a lot of the other uh, attendants, it was the same. They, they all say, oh, this HMT was for me. This HMT was for me. <laughs> I, I was uh, very happy with the topic. And... Um, I know God knows better and he connected me to the, the roots of what I wanted to get. So it's the core value. And uh, in fact, during the, the HMT, uh, at a moment, just before I say that this, uh, the essay is in my DNA, mm -hmm. what I was understanding at the moment, and uh, I took uh, the microphone and I asked Dr. Sunday, uh, and ask, uh, I asked him, correct me if I am wrong, but uh, what I'm, I'm getting is that what you are preaching is something, a, a core part of what you are and what you are doing. And he said, yeah, absolutely. And uh, this part I, I, I didn't have in me. Uh, of course, I have the value of justice, righteousness, but I, I didn't build it strongly in my life and in, also in a public way, like in ministry. So when we were uh, during the, the when we were in the the theme the topic the hmt 
it was uh, glowing everywhere. So uh, I say, yes, I need this. I need to to download that. I need to be this core value. This the it's God's nature also to to be part and to be developed in my uh, new DNA yeah. that. Uh, I received from my new birth, but it was like this part was underdeveloped and uh, I was getting it. It was a core value. So I connect with that and I, I understand easily that uh, all the, the social church, all this, uh, it's just an expression of this nature. Hmm. So I, I get the, the, the main part of it in uh, this Ashanti. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, this is a really interesting. I would like you to please share this with as many people as possible. I think actually young people would be interested in hearing this and how to develop core values in within yourself that could enable you to be successful in everything, in anything in life that you aim to. And also, more importantly, to be the person that you were built, you were created to be. I think this is what I'm hearing here from Pastor Pierre, and I think that we should really, really share it with as many people, especially young people, so that they can also hear and understand this. So, Pastor Pierre, what I'm hearing from you is really interesting. And, you know, you're talking about core values. You also talked about developing you know, I think it's really important because you've spent this intensive um, six days doing this training, right? You have this understanding. You hold the, maybe, should I say, seed or the tools. But a key thing that you mention here is developing. So you're telling us that there's still something to do. There's still work on your side to do. So I want to hear about that because, you know, it's not just about getting information. That information you have hold of it as a tool, so now you're going to develop it. And I'm really glad that you mentioned the word developing. Mm -hmm. How are you going to develop? What first of all, what are the things that you're going to develop? Mm -hmm. You know, the theme is personality, fair enough. But what are those core in being a personality? You've gone through the training, you have an idea of what is needed to add that you have in your DNA that you haven't developed already, but now you know it and you're going to wake them up to develop. Mm -hmm. So what are those things? Number one, and then the second part is how are you going to develop them? Okay. Yes, first of all, I, I already knew that, uh, as Jesus said, the kingdom of God came on the form of a seed and a little seed. So everything uh, which is uh, transferred to us from the heavenly kingdom, sometimes we expect it to to be huge from uh, one night to the one day to another mm -hmm. sometimes we pray or we went to a seminar or somebody lay hand on you and you think tomorrow i will be grown uh, in this but the kingdom came uh, through a seed form and it's the smallest one so it has to be developed but one thing is sure is that you have to receive uh, a heavenly seed because you can have sometimes knowledge, but if you don't have the, the, the seed, the nature of God uh, sowed in you, something will not happen. Mm. And uh, I know I get that. When uh, uh, yesterday you, you were, we were interviewing, all, you were interviewing all of us, you know, we have one word, we had yeah, one word. And I remember that one word. Yes, my one word was fusion. 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 And really I experienced that. Because it was so intense, the clarity of the teaching when pastor was preaching, it was like the, the light where spiritual, I mean, spiritual mm -hmm. light was so intense and it was like a fusion. And uh, what he was talking about and my, my own spirit were, were, were fusioning. And that's how I know that this seed get in me. Mm -hmm. So I know I, I have that. I know something is in me. And I, I see the truth. And as uh, Apostle Paul say, I have no power against the truth. I have only power for the truth. So, no, I know something has changed in me. But I have to uh, make this seed grow. I have to, it's here, but I have to, to give him place, to give him everything, to nourish it so that it can grow. And I know how to do it. It's, it's not difficult. I have to change what is against it 
I cannot say, I oh, know I, I used to be like this. I used to make church like this. I don't want to make the changes. No, I've done that many times in my life. It's not a problem for me. I, w I, I would not compromise with the truth. And I think it's one of the main thing to do because sometimes people outside their usual environment, they get the truth, but then to affirm this truth, to make it grow, to make it place to live, they have to confront their environment and sometimes uh, because you were in a, an another one the people seeing you change they they are going to say no it's not good it's not from god what are you doing this you were not doing that before and it was good so why, why now are you and, and, and everything mm -hmm. so you have to to make sure that you will you would not compromise with the truth and you will rather lose those people, etc. I know it's difficult sometimes, but I've done it. I, I, in fact, I've lost the the, the, the most uh, already, so it's not difficult. For me. <laughs> uh, it's not a problem for me. I'm ready for that, and uh, it's nothing for me. So uh, the first thing is that for me is to make place. First of all, I, I I'm already doing that. I'm re-reading my notes. And what is very good for us is that the last book of Pastor Sunday is the topic we had in detail. So I, I'm already reading the book. So I want to let it sink deep, deep, deep into my value system, into my belief system. Already the biblical passages that Pastor took, the interpretation he, he gave us were so huge. Uh, and there are two or three passages, Psalm 8, uh, Psalm 82, Isaiah, uh, I don't remember the chapter, but those passages we, which are in the book also are very, the, 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 the teaching about those passages are, are huge. And that's the biblical foundation. I, I'm a person, my, all my, my, my reference is the Bible. So when it gets there, I, I have the, the truth by the Spirit, I have the truth by the Word, so the foundation is here. So I'm just uh, enforcing my foundation, and now I, I have already some projects who, who are in line with it, but it has given me the direction, the strength to, to, to get in that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The book that you mentioned, just show it to people, yes. the book that accompany this um, this training, up a bit, please, yes, is Where Are the Heroes? Yes. Let Heroes Arise. So that's the title of the book. If you want to get the book, it's available on Amazon, so you can go to Amazon to purchase this book. And we also have it here, so if you're ordering from Keep Ukraine, we have the form that you can, um, you can send to us. Uh, we'll post that form onto the Facebook now so that you can see it and you can order from here. But it's also an, an Amazon, both paperback and electronic version. So the title is Where Are the Heroes? Let Heroes mm, Arise. Nice. And this is a companion to the HMT training, which is personality. So thank you very much for that. Right. Yeah. Guys, um, I'm getting so much from this. You know, this interview experience for me is really an opportunity to learn and also dig into people's mind. You know, just like books is uh, reading books is about going into people's mind and uh, to see what their thoughts are, and you're sharing several people's minds with reading a book. I think interview does the same for me, especially hearing so genuine, uh, so transparent person. You know, just sharing their thoughts and answering the questions in, in the way that. Um, it's almost like you know you're in you, you're in them you know it's very clear this um, what I'm understanding from this number one even before Pastor Pierre started to mention the word truth right this is one of the first things that I'm getting I, I got from him because you know when he mentioned fusion or infuse with what Dr. Sunday is saying I was thinking okay he was saying that when Dr. Sunday was teaching that it was just like an infusion to his own spirit. Mm -hmm. And for me, this is how truth works because it ministers to you. When somebody is talking the truth or is speaking in truth, 
If that ministers to, he aligns with what you know or what God has already told you. So that infusion, and that was his one word when I said to him, to everyone, um, the day after HMT to tell me the one word following a program, I think it was about seven o'clock. I think that was on Saturday or Sunday or, or Monday. I think it was on Sunday. And they all had their own one word. And I remember Pastor Pierce one was fusion, infuse, infuse. And I was thinking, oh, what does that mean? But I also know what it means, you know, but what does it mean in terms of what you're saying? But I'm so glad that we had this interview. So uh, one thing is that the truth, it mentioned truth several times, you know, truth must be your parameter. Truth must be where you measure from. Truth must be where you stand. Truth must be what your allegiance is to. Because he also mentioned that it's not going to be easy for those of you that think that, okay, I've got this information. I know what to do. I'm going to do it. He already knows that he's going to lose people for it, for it. He already knows that other people would have other ideas and believe that this is not the right way to do things. That there's a different way to do different ways. There are different ways to do things. But he's ready for that. And you know, one thing I really love about uh, Pastor Pierre is that he has experience. He knows. He's seen it all, done it all kind of thing. And he's resolute. Because every time I talk to him, he knows what, what to do. He said, I know what to do. I know what I need to do. I know that I will lose people. Those things are not even problems for me, for him, you know. He's resolute in this. He has clear understanding. This is what he desired. You know, you're almost like a desire. This is what he desired, and I'm going to pay the price. So he's also talking about paying the price, and he's talking about paying that price without any grudges. It's like, that's okay. If anything happens, if this happens, that's okay. So we also need to have that mindset because nothing is easy, right? And if you desire the truth, the truth wouldn't always come easy for us. It wouldn't always come in the way that we thought um, it would be the best. It always comes in the truth. So nobody can fight against the truth but just both stand for the truth. So I'm really, really enjoying this. So the core value here is the truth that is ministered to you, but there's a price to pay for that truth. And that price, you have to be willing to pay it. Um, absolutely, in absolutely every way. And also you have to be willing to change. So he started with, you know, he knows that there's things that he has to do, that he has to change, and he's ready to make those changes. Um, there's nothing that he can do against it. He's tried different ways that didn't work or did work. And those changes, it must be, um, it's, it's a must. And it's because he's standing on the fruit and he's just going to lay everything on the truth and the infusion. So truth ministers to him. And he talked about the scriptures as well. He talked about this book. We've showed you the other way around. So if you didn't see it, we showed you a few minutes ago the other way around. And uh, this book is a companion to this theme of HMT, which is personality. So if you want to get the book and also watch this um, HMT because it was all recorded and it's on YouTube, Sunday at the large official. So you're getting everything for nothing really. Um, he has to pay the price of coming here to Kiev, Ukraine. You know, he has to pay the price for his accommodation. The training is free, but the accommodation is at an expense, um, financial expense. And also the journey here, the time that he has to take off. So that's the price already. So the price paying is right from the time that you're even thinking of coming here you know all the arrangements that you have to do there is a price for greatness and there is a price for to be a personality so you have to pay a price to be a personality so pastor Pierre, i want to know what are the you know because you talked briefly you just mentioned it actually you mentioned equity and you know certain things i want you to mention a few things that people can you know go out there as well as uh, watching the the recordings but they can just quickly go out and try and understand that to be a personality you need to have these things mm -hmm. you know can you share those things with us please yes yes the main things and values i receive in the training uh, we we talked about the value like righteousness justice equity truth okay we seen just seen it like that we can say okay the, those are christian values okay i'm agree with this seek first the kingdom of god and uh, his righteousness so we have mm -hmm. some ideas mm -hmm. but uh, it's difficult to resume uh, hours of, and hours of training but uh, what i could say is that it's more of that it's uh, develop to develop the value of justice and righteousness equity and truth for, for example it's not just at a personal level 
as we have been taught to just to please God and to not to break down our relationship with him, for example. The, the way we, we teach it uh, in church is that, okay, you have to have a righteous life, you have to, to agree with justice, and you have to have honesty, personal integrity, and you have to, to cultivate those values in your professional life, family life, in your thought life, and to please God and to, to stay in a good fellowship with him. And that's the main thing for us. But what uh, Dr. Sunday has presented to us is uh, much more of that. And to be a personality is that you, you have to, to, to make them the, like the goal of your life. And the, the major thing is that you have to take responsibility in the public domain when um, injustice is manifested, when unrighteousness is manifested. You have to be an actor, you have to intervene, you have to do something about it, not just on your personal level, not your, just in your thought process, not just in, in a way to please God be, because you're supposed to already have all of this, but to, to be a world changer and to um, intervene in the, the public affair, in, the, in what is going on in your, 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 your society, in the outward world. And that's, that's what the, I think the big difference is. And all the teaching was about that, to, to take responsibility of problems in your nation. And, uh, and a lot of people were mentioned there, like uh, Martin Luther King and everything. And that's a, a huge example because he was a pastor. But uh, his uh, celebrity is not of his uh, pastoral ministry. He, he have wrote some books which are very good, but he, it's as a civil uh, person that is known. What he has done, uh, the, the position he has taken in the society and fighting against racial and injustice, etc., etc. So that's a different position and that's what uh, I, I, I get, I understood, is that we have to shift from being only, you know, uh, our church righteousness, which is good, which is godly, but which is very limiting. And we have to shift, shift it to, to a global uh, righteousness. And that's what will make us bring the kingdom of God at the level of society, etc. And that's one thing I was missing for me, bringing the kingdom of God is by converting people to the gospel. And that's all. Uh, of course, I want to love people. Of course, I want to be just. Of course, I can help the widow, the orphan at my level. I've done that. But I didn't get that to, to, to be. In fact, personality is just a son or a daughter of God. Uh, mature one. We have to, to rule on the earth and we have to impose the value and react with the value of God to whatever injustice. And I, I, I never get that in my spirit before. Wow. wow. I hope it's clear. It's absolutely yeah. clear. It's absolutely okay. clear to me. Guys, I hope it's clear to you too. I'm sure that I, I have a feeling that it would be because from your thumbs up and love, I know that you are getting some real value, some real juice out of this, which I am. And it's really interesting what Pastor Pierre is saying that, you know, all the terminologies that were used, justice, righteousness, truth, um, and many more, they were, um, they were things that he practiced, but they were things that were practiced on a personal level. It was just about his relationship with God, you know, or maybe just about relationship with just one person. It was just one dimensional. And this training has made him realize that it has to be global, not on a local level, but on a global level where he understand the, understands this and he practices it in every facet. I remember one of the things that Dr. Sunday always mentioned, one word that he mentioned in this HMT is obsession. You know, we have to be obsessed with doing this all around her, not just one aspect of one area of our lives, but in every area of our life. And I think that's exactly what Pastor Pierre has grasped. That that was what was missing. That he was all he knew all these things. He knew the truth. It's good to be uh, to be truthful, to be honest. It's good to be righteous. It's good to uh, justice, equity. All those things they were good. 
and they were good but maybe other people apply them, but not just to know them and have it with God as a relationship, but apply them, be totally obsessed with them, imbibe them in you. Those are what makes you who you are. Those are your DNA. Those are the building blocks of your life. And that's demonstrated in everything that you do. So when you see something that is happening, you just don't say, okay, somebody else will deal with it. That somebody else becomes you immediately. As soon as you see it, that person, that passion, the obsession, not passion, the obsession to repair that, it becomes you. You know, it's, it's, that's your business because that was what is in your DNA. You cannot walk around with your DNA and see things that are injustice and just leave it. And do nothing because that's not your DNA it's not in you you know how we say it's not in me to be a teacher or it's not in me to be this you know and we all um, kind of use it as excuses but if your personality all those things that are right are in you and you just don't limit it to your family or just your relationship in the church or your relationship with God you demonstrated in everything that you're doing in every facet of your life you would demonstrate it those things will be an obsession in your life that everyone would know you that oh pastor pierre is coming please don't do this you know please let's do something or the other way around which would be pastor pierre says this but with love with justice and equity help people to resolve them don't turn them blind the eyes and say well this doesn't concern me right now let me go I have things to do because it's part of your DNA you almost cannot move on until you resolve an issue you know so this is absolutely amazing for me I've loved this I could go on forever with this interview but I still want to just ask one more question because we're actually run out of time because we started but it was a break twice uh, for reasons not yet known to me, but I would investigate. But thank God we're able to um, do this for at least now, maybe about 40 or 45 minutes that's been going on. So you can watch this again and all the first two parts also will be available for you to watch. Um, so before we go, um, I always ask this question. You've talked about the things that you learn and it being part of your DNA and how that is the core value that you were missing. And you have this understanding now you're going to take home you're, you're ready to pay the price that it takes, everything that it entails. What would you like to say to people that are out there from what you've learned? I want you to practice that, you know, you know, because you mentioned that you are uh, somebody that uh, disciples people, you know, you're a leadership trainer, you know, you train people to be leaders. So let's pretend that, you know, you've known this now for two, six months, two years or whatever, however long, and you want to tell people, you want to tell your disciple you want to tell your disciples you want to tell your group of people that you're training what would you say to them how would you start this what would you say you know as um pair the person that is a personality and also want to develop new personalities of people well first of all before saying i want to be and i want to do so and while i i will be being this person, this personality, and doing what it uh, it uh, it have done on me, I will also teach my disciple. By the way, I've already since I, I've been there, since I'm following Pastor more intensively, I, I've already get some new idea, new things. I begin to to share and to teach about that in my with my disciples, with my church, with my family, my friend. So it's automatic for me, as I say. When I'm convinced, I'm a, I'm a very. Uh, sometimes it takes time for me to be convinced, but when I'm convinced, I, I never get backward, never. And I, I I will give my my life totally to to the truth. So I will teach people, I will form people on it. And what I could say that I realized the most is that uh, it's a, it's the part of the Christian life. It's the part of what God is expecting from each of us to, to, to stand on a position for justice against everything that he's doing. And it's uh, uh, import, as important as uh, our duty to, 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 to bring the gospel to the nation because that's a way also to bring the gospel in, in a, practic a practical way. So that's for me that the main thing I get. So I'm... Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be like this now. Just I've learned to to forgive. I've learned to love people. I've learned to to don't discriminate any people. I've learned to love the sinners. For example, it was a shift in my Christian life because 
Um, the first year of my life, I went from being a sinner to be a, a Pharisee. You know, I was all judging all, all those sinners. But the, 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 the truth corrected me, and I learned to, to be able to relate to every level. I, I'm able to love everyone on earth. It's not difficult for me because I have made it part of my DNA, and I know how to apply it on a, a daily basis. That's what I will do with this. No, I know it's part of my DNA, but it's part also of my uh, something I have to express, something I have to be on life. And uh, what I I have uh, thought, and that, uh, for example, very often we say, uh, I want to be great, I want to achieve greatness, and that's good. But what I realize with this is, it's more of that, it's... Uh, I don't want um, to achieve greatness, I want to serve greatness. Because I think all of this, it's the greatness and it's around. And we have to be servant of this. We have to manifest that greatness of the kingdom. It's not our greatness we have to manifest, but uh, this greatness of justice, of value, and uh, manifest the kingdom. And uh, uh, yes, so I want to be part of my life and I want to teach my disciples to think outside the, the, the box, uh, not only evangelization, not only loving, not only forgiving people, but also impose justice, be a personality and stand for every case of, against every injustice uh, in a public manner. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Guys, did you see how beautiful that was? Um, this is really amazing. And I'm kind of getting a little bit of goosebumps because my question to Pastor Pierre was that what is he going to tell his own disciples? Um, as somebody that is a personality and is somebody that also that trains leaders, train people to be leaders. And the first thing that he said that was that it's not even about telling. You know, what I got from this is that it's about serving that to people. Like, you know, how you serve people food. So he is going to be those things. He's going to he's going to show them these things. It's not something that he's going to tell them that you should do this, do this. He's going to tell them that they should do this. But his first thing was that he's going to be those things. That if they are disciples, the people that follow him, that knows who he is, that wants to be part of him, they will also imbibe this in their DNA because he's going to show them because he believes in serving, like serving it to you, greatness. Not being great. It's about serving you, greatness. So whoever can serve greatness is already great, you know. So you only can be, you can only serve greatness to people because you're already great. So he's not going to strive to be great because he knows it already. So what he's going to do is to serve you, to serve disciples how to be great, to be great, to be great people. So he's going to always give greatness. I'm so impressed with this. I hope you guys have enjoyed this interview today because I have and I've learned so much. I was also in the HMT um, personality training, but I'm getting different things from the people as I interview them. And I'm so grateful for the opportunity to do so. I hope you've enjoyed this and you've learned a lot from Pastor Pierre Mano. He's on Facebook, so you can check him out. I'm just also going to give him the camera to share with you which platforms he's on so that you can also engage with him and and enjoy some of his great the greatness that he's going to serve because i know that this man this pastor here he means it he's not joking around at all he said it that he's not somebody that goes back if he makes a decision he does what he said he's going to do he believes in it you know it might take him some time to grasp it but once he's grasped what is grass and he knows that that is the truth he runs with it he doesn't wait around so i would ask you you know he's going to share his facebook and all the profiles with you now you can join him you can engage with him so that you can enjoy part of the greatness that it will serve but don't just enjoy it i think that the most important thing here is that we also learn we duplicate greatness that we're seeing we don't just let other people be great to us we duplicate that when they're great to us we are great to other people we become great too so let's do that all together so that we can live in a better world and enjoy the fruits of our betterness i'm really enjoying this um interview i don't want to leave but we are back in just 
over 40 minutes. Dr. Sunday is going to continue his daily live broadcast and that is at 9 p.m. Ukraine time. That's 8 p.m. Nigeria time. That's 7 p.m. Um, UK and um, other I think just let's stick to UK time. Please check your local um, time. That's in just under 40, over 40 minutes. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera, uh, Pastor Pierre, to just share your social media platform so that other people can join you. Okay, thank you, Mayua, for this time. It was a great time. Yeah. It was my pleasure to be here and to, to be uh, a witness and a servant of the truth. So my profile uh, now is uh, on, Facebook, on Facebook, so you can join me. I have room for more friends, uh, more in my heart, but uh, some room on my Facebook page. Don't You just have to type Pierre Emmanuel Jean and you will see my face and you will recognize me easily. So you are welcome there and soon I will have my YouTube page and uh, some things. Uh, because I have some already some videos, both in French and English. If you are interested in my book, it's in French. But if you are interested, just write to me. I will send you a copy or even through the PDF version. And uh, if you are interested in, your, in my music, you can find everything on my Facebook page. If you roll down, you will find the post with the... We have a video clip, we have uh, something uh, on it. Uh, et pour mes amis français, voilà, si, ou qui parlent le français, ou francophones, vous pouvez me rejoindre sur ma page Pierre-Emmanuel-Jean. Si vous êtes intéressé par le livre que j'ai écrit, écrivez-moi aussi, je vous l'enverrai. Je l'ai aussi en forme digitale si vous êtes loin. Et euh, donc vous êtes les bienvenus. Il y a aussi plusieurs choses qui vont sortir en français, puisqu'il y a la, la traduction d'un des livres du, du Pasteur Sunday, que, que, qui va bientôt sortir aussi en français, donc il y a plusieurs choses en français, mais tout ça vous pourrez le trouver au travers de ma page Facebook, bientôt je vais avoir des sessions live, une page YouTube aussi, donc restez connectés sur ma page Facebook et il y a de, de, beaucoup de nouvelles choses qui vont venir, donc je vous salue à tous les francophones de France, les amis de Côte d'Ivoire et partout dans le monde, que Dieu vous bénisse, c'était une joie d'être avec vous, love you guys that is so beautiful look at that guys thank you so much pastor Pierre. it's always a pleasure to interview you i'm looking forward to seeing you again soon i hope with your team as well i look forward to seeing you all thank you all for your time uh we just had a french person that just joined he says bonsoir pasteur um that is from ludic lucilla Okay, so thank you all. We appreciate you. Please come back. Join us in 40 minutes now. Dr. Sunday will continue with his daily broadcast. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you.